we are chatting with one of our favorite guests here at The Circle. We have Spirit here with Yay. us. The last time, Spirit, we talked about us identifying our stress. But there could be nothing more stressful than a relationship. Oh, and I know. <laughs> in, your, in your career, you've come across some crazy situations. Why do you think that women is challenging sometimes to maintain relationships with women? Well, you know, because oftentimes good women, let's just be real, are choosing garbage men. Yeah. I mean, let, let Message. Us, I mean, let's just be real. Mm. And there's a lot of reasons why we do that. And so I think that it's important for us to talk about that because relationships are one of the things that we spend so much of our time trying to have great ones mm -hmm. and we fail far too often because we don't know how to do it the right way. Now, why is this so special? You got to give us some reasons why mm -hmm. women keep picking so terribly. It is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to give you like my top Please. three, right? Okay. Please. And, and if you see yourself in it, just, just <laughs> hum silently, pray for yourself, because I'm going to give you some good answers, okay. too, okay? So the first one is oftentimes we are suffering from a low self-esteem. We may mm. not want to deal with it, we may not talk about it, but we really don't believe that we are worthy of something else. Mm. So I mm. often say, when you meet a partner, your partner is a reflection of what you are ready for at any given time. Ooh. So look at the relationship that you're in because you cannot accept treatment that you have not already deserved or deemed that in some way, shape, or form you feel that you deserve it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's real, okay? So number two, we think that we can fix them. Mm. We, we are looking for a project. We see the good in Girl, them. we pull so all what, the tools out, hello, don't we? It was everybody else's fault that they're in the situation that they're in. So we choose these broken men thinking that we see the best mm. in them and we fall in love with their potential. Mm. Who yes. we think they are, not who they actually are. Ooh. Hello, somebody. Come on. Come on. But, Come but, on. but what some will argue, um, well, he has potential, uh -huh. you know, and, and even... In, we see this a lot when we're talking about the financial component of a relationship. Oh, for sure. Well, he, he wants to be, he's, he's going to school to be okay. this. And, and it's like, okay, I want to see his potential, but then when it never uh, happens, it's like... You can't be mad at anybody except for yourself mm. because you were disappointed with the expectation of who you hoped he would be. You mm. didn't deal with who he was when you met him. Oh, come on. And, so and, and, is that, and does that speak to the concept of being equally yoked? when you come into uh, a relationship? That is absolutely right. Equally yoked doesn't mean who we have the potential to be because just mm. in the same way we have the potential to be our best selves, mm -hmm. we also have the potential to be our very worst. Come you better on. talk about it. Yes. What's that third tip you have? That third tip is that too many of us have those unresolved daddy issues. Mm. Okay, and now we hear this and it's almost become kind of cliche, but this is real because your issues or your relationship with your father, that is the primary relationship that you have with the man. Mm -hmm. And so that that is your initial scripting. Whether it is by his presence or his absence, he teaches you what your worth is, what your value is, and what a relationship with the opposite sex should mm. look like. And so true. if you have not done that work, then he and your sacrifice or your your feelings around that relationship will continue to manifest itself in the relationships you choose as an adult. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I'm just thinking of my own stuff. Mm -hmm. Like inside, I'm just thinking like, yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Yeah, in couples counseling, we say this all the time, that when you are dating somebody, they allow you to do one of two things, either heal that emotional trauma and dysfunction that you've come out of, mm -hmm. or repeat those same cycles over and over. Mm. It's one of the two. Yeah, it's just the circle. It's different that, that, When I tell you, you can get an end down to the on, circle. Really good. Come on. Now, well, then what's some solutions that we okay, can Okay, so when we're talking about this, first and foremost, you have to know that two things cannot occupy the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. So oh, love same does page. not hurt. Okay? He cannot Repeat love that again. you. Love does not hurt. He cannot love you and hurt you at the same time. Wow. Two things cannot occupy, occupy the same space at the same time. Wow. So you can always ask yourself, when you are being mistreated, get that in check. Is, mm -hmm. this an, is this an example of you loving me? Because I'm not feeling loved right now. Mm -hmm. And if that's not the case, then you have to make the changes. You mm -hmm. can't depend on somebody else to do it for mm -hmm. you. Wow. Sometimes mm -hmm. changes mean leaving. Sometimes. Sometimes it does. Now, what if there's hurt in a relationship, but, you know, in what instance would that hurt be healthy? Because there are, there is pain in relationships. Well, see, now there is pain in having to deal with the ugly truth. Mm. Okay, because there is the good, the bad, and the ugly in all of us. And mm -hmm. so not everything in your relationship is going to be loving. Mm -hmm. But if you are talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly from a loving place, it will still feel good. Mm. Growth can be painful. 
but there's a difference between I'm growing you and I'm wounding you. Mm. Two very different That's things. Real I gotta go. I gotta go. I got one more question. <laughs> well, well, Ricky, we had to go to church. Well, 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 I had to 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 Jesus. Well, why do you think it, there, there's some women who are out there who seem to have it all? I mean, they're educated, mm -hmm. they, they're independent, mm -hmm. but they are still single. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's why good. Why is quiet. that? That is so unfair, yeah. but why is that? That's because they think that they're the ish, and they're really not. They are leaving trails of ish, if oh. you know what I mean. Girl, Lord have mercy. Girl, what I mean, happened? Let's be real. She just what speaking, happened with you? Speaking see, down see here. sometimes we think that we've got it so together that we don't realize that we don't make space for other people to come in and help to complete us in our lives. So what you're saying is that are, are they are they not approachable women? Could it, they be intimidating to the man? Oh yeah. You what know, is happening well, here? See, they're not even really looking for the man. They get in front of the man and they're so busy trying to rattle off their resume and why they don't need mm. a man that they don't make any space to understand where he would compliment yeah. them. Mm. So if you meet somebody and give them the impression, I don't need you, and there's a difference between I don't need you, but I want you. But if you give them, I don't need you, plus I don't know why I want you now, convince me that I should, mm. and you lean back with that, why is he even or she even going to stick around to entertain conversation? Well, people seem like they're on an interview. Man, I, I got I, I to get on. this in. Jeff Johnson was here the other day, and he talked I love about Brother how... Jeff. Me hey, too. Jeff. But hey, he talked Jeff. about how confidence <laughs> is um, attractive. You know, attractive, and that's, that's like... Sexy. Exactly. So what is your take on that? Because I asked him, I said, well, what if you're in a marriage and the confidence wings mm -hmm. on either side? Mm -hmm. What is the other mate's responsibility? What is your take? Yeah. Well, you know, it is not somebody else's responsibility to make you whole, to make you happy, or to make you anything else. That's good. You have to be doing those things and be in progress already. Mm -hmm. It is their responsibility to hold you accountable, to build hold you, you up, to hold you, you accountable. Up. Because you are already your whole, complete self in progress when you met them. Mm -hmm. Their job is to hold you accountable to who you are, where it is that you're trying to go, and to add to you, enhance. to upgrade, mm. to enhance yes. you, mm -hmm. not to diminish or take away. Oh my gosh, Spirit, Spirit I you know you're just, coming back down. I wish, I'm just going to say, I wish she could stay here every day. Child, you need to at least come here yeah, twice a week. Yeah, look, come, I tell everybody needs to come get on my couch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. And, come and thank you so much couch. for sharing, Spirit, some real talk mm -hmm. down to the circle. For more information <laughs> on Spirit, make sure you visit us on all social media uh, handles. And Sister Circle TV slash Sister Circle Child know what this song is saying. Uh, and, and up next, guess <laughs> what? We're going to see what you say when we return with what the people say. Stay tuned. Right I after this. I just said somebody slash. And <laughs>